Aloha, welcome to Hawaii's only TV show about pets, The Pet Hui. Now, let's get to a few factoids about dog breeds. Here's more. So if you're interested in getting a Great Dane, here's basically what you need to know. One, they're about 130 to 160 pounds, at least in this cage. Uh, two, they think they're 40 pounds. They're more like lap dogs. They have to touch you at all times. They're very loyal. They're very needy. They have to be around people. They have to be in the house. They have to be where all the action is. So one misconception is because of their size, they're intimidating, they're scary, they're mean, but they're quite the opposite. They're, like I said, very great. They're great family dogs and they're lovable, very friendly. Uh, they're more inclined to show you where the jewelry is uh, than to bite your hand off, but at the same time, they're great protectors of their owners. Hi, this is Bentley. He's a two-year-old bulldog, English bulldog. And if you're thinking of getting a bulldog, you have to keep in mind they are not a real active dog. And as far as walking, you have to be very careful with them because they overheat very easy. So walking is early in the morning, late in the evening for short walks. If you want to support your vet, buy a bulldog because they are a high maintenance dog. They are so loving. They're probably, my, I'm addicted to bulldogs. If you want to get yourself a Havanese, this is what you're looking for. They are non-shedding, they are non-aggressive, and they just want to please their, their families. So as you can see, he's just a wonderful breed. Um, one caveat to the Havanese is that they need brushing. All long-haired breeds, they're double-coated, so they tend to mat if you don't brush them. So once a day. If you don't like the brushing, you can cut them down in a puppy cut, maybe once every eight to 10 weeks. You can um, give them a puppy cut and it's a wash and dry. The Havanese is a wonderful pet. Uh, we, uh, we recommend them for elderly people because they're non-aggressive children. They love other animals. They're a non-aggressive breed, so they get along with anybody or any dog, other animal. Um, they're good with cats, believe it or not. I have two chickens at home. They're good with chickens. Okay, if you're looking to get a Cairn Terrier, you will never regret it. <laughs> no. They're very fun-loving dogs. They're joyful, playful, all the way into their teens. They're a wonderful companion for older children, like children age maybe six and above. They love to play ball. They love to go with you everywhere. Um, you do need to keep them in a secure area or on leash. They're really uh, strong prey drive because in Scotland they were bred to chase things and you can see they're very engaged in their surroundings. So they will, um, they'll come when called if there's nothing better to do but otherwise they'll make their own mind up. They're very good in the city because they can live happily in an apartment. They're very adaptable. They're one of the most adaptable type of breeds. They're like country, city, apartment, very good. When people ask me what kind of dog, I say Karen Terrier as seen in, as Toto in The Wizard of Oz. And she says, this is Carly. She says she's not in Kansas anymore. <laughs>